Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2025 ski test. I've got a Solomon QST Lux 92 for you today. This ski is a carryover model from last year, uh, and it continues to be one of the most well-rounded and fun-loving and energetic skis out there on the hill. Uh, there's a lot of love for skis in this low to mid 90s range and when you combine it with Solomon's innovative shaping and profiling techniques it really takes the ski to another level. Uh, just a great option for intermediate all the way through lighter weight expert skiers who spend most of their time on trail but still want something that is more adventurous and creative for any time the snow gets soft or you want to go out in the woods or ski some bumps or anything that gets in your way really. Uh, this Lux 92 is just uh, a top performer in that regard. Uh, pretty, pretty innovative construction going on here too. Uh, built with a full poplar wood core. Nice blend of lightweight and high energy. We also get their CFX material. So <clears throat> a layer of carbon and flax that runs through the middle of the ski here. And that really gives the ski its energy. Um, there's definitely a lot of pop here. It's not like the softest ski in the world. Uh, but it is pretty easy to turn. We also get their double sidewalls underfoot, so a, th a thicker and stiffer uh, sidewall material of this ABS material uh, is found in the underfoot zone, and that just stiffens up this midsection here and delivers better grip. You know, as you get wider with these skis uh, without structural metal, then you do need something to really kind of pick up the slack of, uh, of that stuff, especially if you want good on-trail performance. And that's where these double sidewalls really come in handy uh, in this Lux 92. So it's not terribly heavy. Uh, this is a 160, and we got it on the scale here at 1,572 grams. Obviously, if you go longer, you're going to get a little bit heavier of a ski, but overall, uh, you know, the stiffness blends well with the weight. Uh, and then really kind of the, the discussion takes on a different shape uh, when it comes to the profile here. So these QST 92s uh, are very innovative. Um, they use their shaping to create a shorter turn radius. So this one gets a 13 meter arc. And basically they do that with the taper and the rocker. So they bring the widest part of the ski down into the middle and that shortens the effective edge and then creates that shorter turn radius. And then a nice rocker, camber rocker profile here. So enough tip rocker to handle that soft snow especially when it pairs with this more spoony tip shape, uh, really makes this thing float quite well. And then long, but not terribly high rocker. So it starts down here and then is just pretty gradual. So there's not much of a bend at the end. So that kind of gives it a, a smoother overall feel. Uh, and that matches well with that taper shape, which comes down pretty far. So they do have to take those creative liberties in the shaping and profiling in order to get to that 13 meter turn radius in this ski. Uh, but yeah, great option for that intermediate all the way through lighter weight expert skier that's looking for something just totally versatile, equally at home, on and off trail. Uh, we always talk about, you know, with the just thousands of skis out there, uh, you know, how do you, how do you choose? And if you're kind of in the right zone and you don't know what to get, this 92 is, is a prime option. So make sure you check this thing out here at SkiEssentials.com, and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye.